Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will be uh, discussing about questions relating to provisions, contingent liabilities and contingent assets. So let's uh, dive into the session. Uh, in this session, I am going to uh, discuss about a question relating to this question relating to uh, provisions and contingent liabilities. So this is uh, IAS 37 uh, related to provision, contingent liabilities and contingent assets. So before I get on with this question, let me go through uh, some important points uh, from the uh, standard. Then uh, we can uh, go back to the question so that we'll have a better understanding how to answer these type of questions. Uh, first of all, uh, we should know what are provisions, then what are contingent liabilities. Okay? So provisions are liabilities of uncertain timing or amount that arise from past obliga obligating events and are probable. Okay? So when, when you say provision, we have to make an adjustment uh, to the financial statements. So therefore, the probability should be certain, okay? uh, more likely than not to result in an outflow of resources embodying economic benefits to settle the obligation. So as a result of this past obligating events, okay, so there is, there, is a, there is an outflow of resources with regard to this uh, obligation, settlement of this obligation. Okay? Uh, in order to satisfy this, provisions are recognized when three criteria are met. Okay? In order to make a provision, uh, there are three criteria that should be satisfied. So what are those criteria? A present obligation exists as a result of past events. Okay? There is an obligation as a result of past events. And also it is probable that an outflow of resources will be required to settle the obligation. So when you say probable, there is, uh, there is more uh, probability, more chance to settle uh, the obligation. Okay? So when you say it is probable, at least if you can say 50% chance, 60% chance, then it, there is a higher probability. Then uh, we can, uh, and also there is an outflow of resources is required to settle the obligation. Then we have to make a provision. And also uh, a reliable estimate can be made of the amount of the obligation. Okay, so you should be able to reliably estimate the amount of the obligation. If these three conditions are met, are satisfied, then we have to make a provision in the financial statements. Okay, so this is the first point I just want to uh, emphasize with regard to the standard. Then contingent liabilities. What are contingent liabilities? Uh, contingent liabilities are possible obligations arising from past events, the existence of which will be confirmed by uncertain future events. Okay, the future events are not certain. Okay, the existence of which will be confirmed by those uh, uncertain future events. Okay, so therefore the contingent liabilities are not recognized as liabilities in the financial statements but are disclosed in the notes to the financial statements if their existence is probable and the amount can be reliably estimated. Otherwise a description of the nature of the contingent liability is disclosed. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the point that I just want to emphasize. Okay. Now we can uh, get back to, we can go back to the question to answer uh, those uh, questions. So let's move on to the first question. AG Corporation is preparing its financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2022. During the year, the company faced the following situations. First one is, the company is involved in a legal dispute with a supplier over a breach of contract. The supplier is claiming damages of 100,000 US dollars. AG's legal counsel assesses the likelihood of an unfavorable outcome to be reasonably possible. However, the actual amount of potential liability cannot be reliably determined at this stage. The second one, the company gives warranties on its household appliances. The company's statistics show that about 3% of sales give rise to warranty claim. The company has guaranteed the overdraft of another company. The likelihood of a liability arising under the guarantee is assessed as possible. Okay, 
So under these three uh, situations, what is the correct action to be taken in the financial statement for these items? So let's move on to the first item. The first item is all about a damage of 100,000 US dollars due to breach of contract and the, the outcome is reasonably possible. The outcome is an unfavorable outcome. However, the actual amount of pot potential uh, liability cannot be reliably determined at this stage. Okay, so therefore, given the uncertain nature of this legal dispute, the AG Corporation should disclose the details of the dispute and the potential liability in the footnotes to the uh, financial statements. The, since the likelihood of an unfavorable outcome is, uh, is reasonably possible, but the amount cannot be reliably estimated. Okay, so therefore no specific provision uh, is required in the financial statement. Okay, so no provision is required. Okay, uh, the second part, the company gives warranties on its household appliances. The company's statistics show that about 3% of sales give rise to warranty claim. So therefore, it is certain that there will be a warranty claims. So therefore, how much will be claimed is not sure, but uh, there's a possibility that 3% will be claimed. So therefore, this is uh, very certain. So therefore, uh, this amount to be provided as provision in the financial statements. So therefore, provision is required in this case. Third one, the company has guaranteed the overdraft of another company. The likelihood of a liability arising under the guarantee is assessed as possible. Okay, so uh, given the nature of this uh, transaction, uh, uh, there is an uncertainty about the, uh, the liability arising under this guarantee. So therefore, uh, AG Corporation should make a disclosure and no provision is required. Okay, so these are the answers for the first part of the question. So let's move on to the second part. Oliver is the owner of a skincare product manufacturing company. Recently, his business faced negative publicity when a customer alleged that using Oliver's anti aging cream caused skin irritation and allergies. In December 2022, the dissatisfied customer filed a lawsuit against Oliver's company, seeking damages of 6,000 US dollars. After consulting with his lawyer, it is determined that the most likely outcome of the court action is that Oliver will have to pay to the customer 4,000 US dollars in damages. So what amount should Oliver include as provision in his accounts for the year in the 31st December 2022. Okay, so in light of uh, this legal uh, situation, Oliver needs to consider the potential liability arising from this lawsuit uh, when preparing his company's financial statements. The estimated uh, liability of 4,000 US dollars should be uh, provided as a provision and any relevant disclosure should be made in the financial uh, statements to inform uh, stakeholders about the ongoing legal matter. So therefore this potential impact on the company's financial position is 4,000 US dollars. So because this amount is certain that it is confirmed by the uh, company's lawyers and also uh, the 4,000 uh, can be, it is uh, reliably estimated so therefore, the provision is required. We have to make a provision is required. Third question. Sunrise company is facing a lawsuit from a customer who had an accident in their store on July 15, 2022. The customer claims 
that the accident occurred due to negligence on the part of Sunrise Company and is claiming damages of 120,000 US dollars. Legal experts have assessed that there is a 70% chance of Sunrise Company losing the case and being liable to pay the damages. The damages means this 120,000 US dollars. So probability of occurring this 120,000 occurring this uh, loss is 70% chance. Okay. The legal uh, representation fees are estimated to be 50,000. So what action should Sunrise Company Limited take? What action should Sunrise Company Limited take when preparing their accounts for the year in June 2022? So uh, in accordance with the international accounting standards, okay, since the probability of having to pay 120,000 in damages is uh, more than 50%, so this 70% is more than 50%, so there's a greater chance that this amount will have to be paid. So therefore, uh, Sunrise Company should provide a caution for the estimated liability. So therefore, the company should recognize a caution of uh, under 20,000. So therefore, the company should recognize a provision of 120,000 in the financial statement to account for the potential loss arising from this lawsuit. Additionally, the legal uh, representation fees of 50,000 also to be recognized as an expense in the financial statements. So these are the possible uh, questions and answers uh, in relation to provisions, contingent liabilities and contingent assets related uh, topic. Okay, so I'll see you soon with uh, another uh, question and answer session. Until then, uh, bye for now.